welcome to another edition of the Mo Stovall Show. I'm your host, Mo Stovall. Come on in and get ready for another great interview. It's part two with Sweet Charlotte. Last week, we didn't have enough time to stay on the focus of her life uh, as a businesswoman, as a family woman, and just as a human being. Charlotte shared a lot with us, some things I didn't know, and some things I was glad that she shared with you and me. So get ready. Get your popcorn. The most of all show is on. I'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Household Remodeling and Ironworks is licensed and bonded. For all your residential and commercial needs, Household Remodeling and Ironworks specialize in wrought iron burglar doors and windows, custom wrought iron at stake doors, custom built handrails and gates, lawn service, trailer gates, and heating and air conditioning protective cages for home, businesses, and churches. Call Household Remodeling and Ironworks today to get your free estimate today. Locally owned and operated. Look for Household Remodeling Ironworks on Facebook. If you need entertainment for a concert, corporate event, or private gathering, contact King's Entertainment Booking Agency, 205-705-4050. If you need a singer, if you need a live band, if you need a DJ, or if you need a host or MC, King's Entertainment Booking Agency has you covered. With Lattimore, Wilson Meadows, Mo Stovall, Avail Hollywood, Nathaniel Kimball, Certified Slim, D. Saunders, Bill Avery, the legendary Willie Mack, Stephanie Pickett, Taboo. Lady Trucker, MB Rapper, and host MC and DJ Ed Ramsey. If you need a singer, a band, a DJ, an MC, King's Entertainment Booking Agency with the best entertainment for corporate events, concerts, or private gatherings. King's Entertainment Booking Agency, 205-705-4050. When you want the best entertainment for your corporate event, concert, or private gathering, contact King's Entertainment Booking Agency, 205-705-4050. It's Vision 3 LLC, doing good for the entire neighborhood. DJs, venue assistants, fit training, life coaches, event planning. It's Vision 3, an information service for our community. To contact us, email us at vision3llc at yahoo.com. If you are in need of someone to talk with or guidance because of the loss of a loved one, contact A Healing Place. You will have the opportunity to speak with a therapist, a certified life coach, a minister, and a moderator. They are there to help you with healthy coping mechanisms to help you through your grieving process. Their services are free. You can find them on Facebook. Text them at 205-473-0392 or email them at ahealingplace29 at gmail.com. They will also be hosting events around the Birmingham area. A Healing Place, where they are a community. Unity. All right, y'all, welcome back to the Mo Stovall Show. I'm your host, Mo Stovall. I'm here, still here with Sweet Charlotte. I don't really think we got enough time in this interview to cover the things that I want to talk to you about. So, Charlotte, we will be inviting you back. I will be back and happy to be here. Well, you know, we stopped talking off. We stopped out at your father. And I know that you ran Wellington Bistro for many years. About I want, 25 years. 25 years. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that I was a part of that. You know, of I remember the were. first day I walked in and was there and my eyes lit up because I knew, I saw the opportunities before they even came. <laughs> and from there, the skies was the limit. We did Flashback Fridays for many years mm -hmm. and you opened your doors and gave me the door like a lot of people won't do. And um, tell us how Wellington Bistro came about. Actually, I had um, come home from prison mm -hmm. and um, I was, able to have the support I needed to open a daycare center okay. and my mom was my director I had the opportunity to open a beauty salon in Somerton, wow. Alabama and then uh, Ulysses Smoot yep. who used to own the Jaguar, Jaguar Club mm -hmm. had uh, come into a situation where as he had to sell and um, I was able to Obtain. buy the property right. so uh, I wanted to open a restaurant that would be like the Cotton Club in New York, where yes. we could sing, eat, and have fine dining. Right but, here in Birmingham. 
Birmingham turning into a juke joint, and that's all right with me too. Right, right. You swing with <laughs> that's it. That's all right. You, you know, you got to go with the flow. So that's what we kind of did. And uh, Wellington's became known for having great chicken wings. It really did. Good food, mm -hmm. great entertainment, mm -hmm. a crazy lady running it. <laughs> you know, because I was crazy when I wasn't doing what people wanted Correct. me to do like they wanted me to do it. And um, my friend who's now deceased, who owned the Ebony Club and Celebrities Club in Huntsville, who was my brother also, Mr. Yes. Chuck Moore, yes. sat me down one day and said, baby, this is your establishment. Don't let nobody else run it. And even if you're wrong, it's yours. Well, you can't be wrong really in your own establishment. No. But you can stand up when you get ready and say, who's going? Right. Who's going? And you did that. You did I ain't that. going. What year did Wellington open? Officially, when you it changed from Jaguar because I remember being Jaguar uh -huh. with a lot of young folks. We and stuff opened going in '96. Nineteen ninety six. Three years after that got out of And what year did you really feel like, okay, I'm really gonna stick with this? Because twenty five years is a silver, that's a long time. When did you know you gonna ride? I knew I was gonna ride day one. Okay. No matter what, because we opened up for lunch every day. And that was successful. I remember that. Yeah, the food was and, great. And, and we had great chefs. The, the people that worked for me had been chefs in country clubs. Mm -hmm. But uh, Clarence Ike was a chef over at uh, the club and country club, Mountain Brook Country Club. Right. But when he retired and came to Wellington's, not only was he a chef, he was a good cook. He was a soul food cook mm -hmm. that made everything great. He was a part of my team that no matter what was going down, he was going to stand by me and mm -hmm. make it happen. He and Roger and those kind right. of folks. How did you get these guys to come? come I didn't with? know them. I didn't know I them. Know, so how did, they, how did that come about? Once I decided to open the restaurant, I then started to talk to people who knew great chefs mm -hmm. and um, they introduced me to people who introduced me to people. Of course, I knew Roger because he had been a bartender at the French Quarter, right. places yeah. that I used to play. So once I opened, these people came to work with me and they were a part of my team. And once my team started to die out and go do other things and I had to bring in new people who were not conscientious about right. running the place as a real business. Right. Things were falling apart anyway. The building was falling apart. And then I can't get no money from nobody, you know, because when you got money, you can get money. Oh, yeah. But when you ain't got no money and you ain't got no daddy no more and your line of credit is gone because your benefactor is dead, right. then you got to go for what you know. Right. And so I was your dad on. your business partner? Was he? My dad was my business, business partner and my dad, but I also had other people in my life who okay. were helping me. Okay. And, you know, and once those things started to fall apart and I didn't have the help, that I needed, it was time for me to go. And right. you know what? I held on as long as I could. And um, all of a sudden, I had to go. Mm -hmm. Or I wasn't gonna have, my when mama wasn't gonna have no When did you know it was over no for you? You had to go. I knew it was over when you I started exhausted. opening up for special events only. You exhausted all your avenues. Yeah, and everybody's coming in the club, nobody's spending money. Mm -hmm. They are coming in your club and telling you that they don't want anything to eat or drink, but they want to talk to you because they couldn't sleep. And they knew we were playing cards, so they want to come play cards. You became said, a counselor. But you don't want anything to drink? Oh, no, I just wanted to see how you was doing. Can I get you something to eat? Oh, no, I already ate. Well, why are you here? I just want to see you. Oh, so if you use the bathroom and wash your hands. It costs you something. It costs me. But at the same time, if people pass by your place and see a lot of people, somebody that spends some money might come in. Anyway, I got tired of all this stuff. That's right. no way to run a business. Right, right. No way to run a business. Especially when you know what it's been and, like. Yeah, and, and, and then now, I like working for other people because, you know, I don't know whether they have headaches or what's going on in their business. I don't try to find out. But you I'd don't. be happy walking through the door, walking back out the door. If there's no whiskey tomorrow, I don't think about it. If there's no food tomorrow, nobody's calling me. And um, I like it like, I, as a matter of fact, I love it like this, but I think I'm heading in another direction now. The other direction? I'm going to talk about that. I saw a video on you and you were doing some gospel. That's, that's where I came from. Exactly. So tell us a little bit about how did you get back to that avenue that you're at right now? This, how did you get back to this? <laughs> well, during the pandemic, you know, by my business having been closed, 
and I'm still catering and entertaining, but there's nowhere to work. Right. Right. So for right. almost two years we've not worked. Right. As a matter of fact, right. this March it will be two years. Yes, yeah, too so long. I started going once people started to go back out, I started to go back out because I'm not downtown where people know that I'm still here. Right. I started to go back out so that people would know that I'm still here and advertise myself. Right. You are a brand. But I realized I'm out here and that's too to not working. Mm -hmm. I so it. um during the pandemic I was not even a member of any church because when Pastor Perry died at First Baptist Mason City, mm -hmm. I didn't attend church. I decided I was just going to wait. So for about three years, I was sitting on the side of the bed watching church on right. TV, whoever was on that mm -hmm. I liked. Mm -hmm. Anyway, long story short, one day I decided, Lord, I just can't go no further. I need somebody to pray with me and for me. And I called the church and I asked my pastor, Tommy Lewis, at Mm -hmm. Baptist. Uh, how am I going to join this church? He said, join the church? I said, yes, I got to have prayer and I need some prayer warriors praying with me, hands on. So it was first Sunday and uh, he said, I tell you what, you come to the church after virtual service and the trustees and I are going to take you in. And that's exactly what happened. I called my friend Celeste King. I said, hey, come go to church. I'm going to go join the church because I need prayer. Right. Something's got to change in my life. Well, everything got so bad that I had to even go to the church mm -hmm. and ask for things that I needed. And I said, God, I don't want to live this way. I'm the giver and the doer. Why am I having to ask mm -hmm. the church? And my pastor was like, you should not have waited this long and la da da And I'm saying, okay, well, I'm going to take this, but I'm going to give it back to the church greater later. So my prayer to the Lord is that he will give me back a life where I can be a doer. Right. And I've decided that that life is going to come out of a ministry. Oh, wow. In music, right. in church. Right. Well, I guess I didn't decide it. God has directed me. And you follow me. And I am following. <laughs> I have decided this time I'm going to stand still and just wait on the Lord. That's but I great. do know that um, I'm going to God and I'm going to gospel right. because that's where I'm going to feel safe. I got you. And it's on. From now on, you know, at 66, I, 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 like that. I, I need like to that. feel safe and um, secure, mm -hmm. and it's going to be in the Lord. Now, the program I saw you on was with George Stewart down in Montgomery. What, what is that? What it's the gospel, gospel Roots program that uh, they actually, George and I have been talking for many years because, you know, he was sales manager at oh, yeah. Win Radio, and he's been in the business for a while. And several years ago, we talked about me recording, and we never... Um, Okay, that yeah, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. Roscoe Robinson and all of us, we've had to talk, but we never did anything. So <laughs> I saw him and he said, hey, you need to come do my show. I said, okay. And he called me and asked me to do the show. Well, we actually recorded it in December of last year. Okay. And last Saturday afternoon, he called me and said, hey, you know, you're going to be on TV tonight. No, I don't know I'm going to be on. So I called my family because I had not told them, you know. My mother knew and maybe a couple of my friends. Right. But other than that. I had not discussed it. And then, because I didn't know the words, I'm going to look at this teleprompter, and the teleprompter didn't work. I'm, I'm, I'm like nervous and crazy. You did great. But uh, George said, Charlotte, nobody's going to know that but you. I said, you what about those people who sing these songs? He said, oh, that's your version. It can be your version. Right, it's and and, and, and I, my mom said, you look like you were nervous on that first time. I said, Mom, I told you that I was going to be nervous because I was fighting for my life at right, that point. Right. And I knew I was on TV and I wanted it to be good. Right. And so when I finished and I got all of this applause, well, nobody's in there, so who's clapping? It was a group coming behind me and the people who were working the cameras. And George Stewart said, you know, I really wish you had gone into a moan. I was thanking Jesus that I had just got to that second verse. And I said, I'm going to say that third verse for when I give my testimony. Oh, wow. And, and I think, and once I saw it, I, it was on TV and I didn't watch it. I was watching football. <laughs> And I don't have two TVs in that room now. Right. So I'm watching football and I'm waiting for my phone to ring, right? I said, I don't know how I did when my phone starts ringing. And so um, when the phone rang, somebody said, oh, you did wonderful. And then George Stewart called and said, well, get ready for your phone to start ringing because they had already started receiving messages from people at the station right. saying that um, 
the songs that touch their souls right. and all of them. And and when I would say, well, which one did you like the most? They say, I like all of them. I say, how do you like all of them? And then they'll say, oh, but Precious Lord, you know, everybody loves Precious Lord. And right. Uh, right. that's my song. And um, I and, and I really way. Way, I, I, I really love the way you did that. And that was when, when uh, George Stewart said, he thought I was going to go into a moan. Right. I ain't going to go into a moan. I'm going into a straight testimony, Lord which is mercy. me. Lord have mercy. Which is me. And which is going to actually uh, let people know what God has done for me. You know, because that third verse say, when the shadows appear. Right. And the night draws near. Mm -hmm. And the day is dead and gone. Wow. At the river I stand. Mm -hmm. That's me. We, we've done that song quite a few times over at Antioch Baptist Church and, and at Broad Street, but you did a great job with the shop. You've done a great job on this interview. I'm about to get out of here, and I'm definitely got, I got to bring you back because the story ain't been told. We, no, the story's yeah. not been told, and I'm going to write the book. You're going to write a book, so that's. that's I got to write the book. You got to. That's a story. You got to. You know, story. it's me. It's my life. It's simple. Right. It's chaotic. Mm -hmm. I've done everything you can do. I've broken every commandment in the world. I used to say, Lord, I've done everything but kill somebody, but I. I went to jail for trafficking right. cocaine. Okay. Okay. They said that drug was killing people. So I guess I did that too. Wow. That's what I told the Lord. So now that I've broken all the commandments, I called my pastor and asked him to pray for me to have a husband. And he said, huh? I said, well, I want to do something. And I can't do it and be in God's grace if I'm not married. He asked me to get off his phone. So I called my brother, the judge, David right, Hoppy. Right. And I said, David, I just called my pastor and told him to pray for me a husband because I want to do some things. And he said, well, I'm going to tell you the same thing because I'm going to go back in the car. Get off my phone. <laughs> get off my phone. Hey, I stand up in the in the club and say, hey, pray for me a <laughs> So people think I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. I want you to encourage somebody, <laughs> shout out. Before we go, we getting ready to get out of here. Tell them something that uh, they can use as far as, you know, getting getting off the track and get back on the track. What I'm saying is we all sin and fall short of the mm -hmm. glory of Amen. the Lord. Um, I finally surmised just a little while ago when I had some things going on in my life. God does not judge you by your sins. He says a liar mm -hmm. will not tarry in his eyesight. Right. The thief on the cross was saved. Mm -hmm. Because he knew to say, Lord, have mercy. My right. grandfather told me, if you could just say, Lord, have mercy, wow. before you die, you're going to be okay. Now, I know that I have to go to God for everything. Mm -hmm. And all I'm asking him now is to lead me, guide me, and just let me be right. right. I just want to be right. And I want to be happy. And he made God, he made man to have a woman. Amen. And I just want to be an O.E. So be encouraged. Speak over yourself. Encourage yourself. And even though I'm 67 years old, they tell me now 70 is the new 30. Charlotte, so I'm I love be about you. 15. I love you. I love you, Charlotte. <laughs> no, I need to be 21. <laughs> yeah, you got to be grown. I need to be grown. <laughs> I love you, and I thank you for I love all you that too. you've ever done. Oh, and don't forget all those trips we made to New York where you oh, sang with the yes, OJs. Baby. Yes, it was legit. Hey, yeah, Shirley all... Caesar asked for her mic back when Ruth sure, Evans brought it sure to me. Did. Hey, That's I didn't want the mic you. nowhere. <laughs> Ruth went and got that mic from her. Ruth Evans took Shirley Caesar wow. mic and brought it to me. Wow. And Shirley Caesar asked for her mic back, and I politely handed it back to Ruth. <laughs> well, we know Charlotte's going to be doing gospel now, but you still won't. You ain't gonna do get whatever away. I got to do. Yeah, it is. She ain't going to get away from hey, what I got to eat. Doing. You make sure you look for Charlotte somewhere near you soon. <laughs> Making a whole bunch of noise. We love you, baby. Love you, too. And thank you for being on the show. Tonight. And thank you for asking me. All right, y'all. I got to get out of here. We'll catch you back next week. Same time, same station. Until then, you guys be good. Bye. Be good. Bye. Here is today's spotlight. And after that, a word from our sponsors. Enjoy. It's Vision 3 LLC. Doing good for the entire neighborhood. DJs, venue assistants, fit training, life coaches, event planning. It's Vision 3, an information service for our community. To contact us, email us at vision3llc at yahoo.com. If you need entertainment for a concert, corporate event, or private gathering, contact King's Entertainment Booking Agency, 205-705-4050. If you need a singer, if you need a live band, if you need a DJ, or if you need a host or MC, King's Entertainment Booking Agency has you covered. With Lattimore, Wilson Meadows, Moe Stovall, Avell Hollywood, Nathaniel Kimball, Certified Slim, D. Saunders, Bill Avery, the legendary Willie Mack, Stephanie Pickett, Taboo, 
Lady Trucker, MB Rapper, and host MC and DJ Ed Ramsey. If you need a singer, a band, a DJ, an MC, King's Entertainment Booking Agency, with the best entertainment for corporate events, concerts, or private gatherings. King's Entertainment Booking Agency, 205-705-4050. When you want the best entertainment for your corporate event, concert, or private gathering, contact King's Entertainment Booking Agency, 205-705-4050. Household Remodeling and Ironworks is licensed and bonded. For all your residential and commercial needs, Household Remodeling and Ironworks specialize in wrought iron burglar doors and windows, custom wrought iron at stake doors, custom built handrails and gates, lawn service, trailer gates, and heating and air conditioning protective cages for home, businesses, and churches. Call Household Remodeling and Ironworks today to get your free estimate today. Locally owned and operated. Look for Household Remodeling Ironworks on Facebook. Give her my all, and I'ma let my soul glow. I'm feeling like Sam Cooke. I think a change gon' come, but it won't come till me and you come together as one. I think I'm MLK. Fresh shuttles worth. Who is you to tell me what my life is worth? Oh yeah, I'm so official, walking like I'm presidential. Ain't gotta tell you my life matters. My life so essential. So put your hands up. We just wanna see liberty and justice and justice for all
Here's a word from our sponsors. Household Remodeling and Ironworks is licensed and bonded. For all your residential and commercial needs, Household Remodeling and Ironworks specialize in wrought iron burglar doors and windows, custom wrought iron at stake doors, custom built handrails and gates, lawn service, trailer gates, and heating and air conditioning protective cages for home, businesses, and churches. Call Household Remodeling and Ironworks today to get your free estimate today. Locally owned and operated. Look for Household Remodeling Ironworks on Facebook. It's Vision 3 LLC, doing good for the entire neighborhood. DJs, venue assistants, fit training, life coaches, event planning. It's Vision 3, an information service for our community. To contact us, email us at vision3llc at yahoo.com. If you need entertainment for a concert, corporate event, or private gathering, contact King's Entertainment Booking Agency, 205-705-4050. If you need a singer, if you need a live band, if you need a DJ, or if you need a host or MC, King's Entertainment Booking Agency has you covered. With Lattimore, Wilson Meadows, Mo Stovall, Mel Hollywood, Nathaniel Kimball, Certified Slim, D. Saunders, Bill Avery, the legendary Willie Mac, Stephanie Pickett, Taboo. Lady Trucker, MB Rapper, and host, MC, and DJ, Ed Ramsey. If you need a singer, a band, a DJ, an MC, King's Entertainment Booking Agency, with the best entertainment for corporate events, concerts, or private gatherings. King's Entertainment Booking Agency, 205-705-4050. When you want the best entertainment for your corporate event, concert, or private gathering, contact King's Entertainment Booking Agency, 205-705-4050. Well, that concludes another edition of the Mo Stovall Show. I really hope you enjoyed all that great information on Charlotte's life, sweet Charlotte, that she shared with us tonight. Man, what a great interview. I really enjoyed having her by. I look forward to next week, and you should too. Don't forget to tell somebody about the Mo Stovall Show right here on WTTO Channel 21, brought to you by King Johnny's Entertainment. Don't forget, if you need some entertainment, look up King Johnny. You can call him at 205-705-4050. And if you want to sponsor, if you got something you want to run an ad about, call King Johnny, 205-705-4050. That's my time, and you know how I leave. Once a task has just begun, never leave it until it's done. Be the labor great or small. Do it well or not at all. I'll catch you back here next week. Same time, same station. Until then, be good. Bye.